Photoshop for iPad now supports the incredible generative expand and fill features from Photoshop Desktop, making it easy to integrate into your editing workflow on Lightroom for iPad. Here, I have an image I captured in the Outer Banks, but I'm not quite happy with the framing of the image as it was shot. I can use Generative Expand in Photoshop for iPad to fix this and provide some extra space when cropping this image for different formats. To do so, just tap the Share icon, then tap Edit in Photoshop, and the image will open in Photoshop for iPad. If you're new to Photoshop, that's okay. The only tools needed will be the Selection Tools, Crop, and Generative Prompts. Expanding the image is as simple as expanding the crop. Tap on the crop icon in the left toolbar to open the crop interface. The generative expand option now appears within this interface. Simply drag the handles to resize the image and tap generative expand. On first launch of generative AI features in Photoshop, you will be asked to agree to the terms of service before proceeding. Once the expand is complete, the crop interface will close and you'll be left with your newly expanded image. To ensure the highest output quality, avoid expanding your image in large sections and instead use multiple smaller expansions. Photoshop will generate three variations of the fill. To see these, open your layer properties panel and tap on each variation to see the results. If you're not happy with these results, tap generate to regenerate the fill. I like this new expanded image. While I have the image open in Photoshop, I can use generative fill to add and remove elements of my image. For example, along the horizon of this image is a structure that I'd like to remove. With the lasso tool selected, I'll make a selection around the object, tap on generative fill, and leave the prompt blank to remove the object from the scene. I'd like to also add some balance on the right of the setting sun by adding in a kayak amongst the paddle borders. I can do this by making another selection and tapping Generative Fill. This time I'll provide a prompt of Sea Kayak. And voila! Generative Fill will populate the selection with a kayak. Just like with Expand, there are three variations available to choose from. Now that I'm happy with my image, I can send it back to Lightroom for my final enhancements. In Lightroom, the image will appear next to the original and have a Photoshop icon in the top right of the image. I can tap on this image to continue editing. For this photo, I'll start by adjusting the rotation so that the horizon is flat. With the extra space I have on the left, I can now experiment with various crop ratios. Since I'm planning to share this image on social media, I'll use a 4x5 crop. I can then select a preset. In this case, I'm going to choose from the recommended presets, and I like this one right here. Next, I can continue applying any other adjustments I want to make. With just a few adjustments to the image, I went from this to this, using Photoshop's generative AI tools on Photoshop for iPad as part of my Lightroom workflow on iPad. Give it a try yourself and download Lightroom and Photoshop for iPad today.